congratulations on getting a power meter. I think it's a great purchase. Um, a couple ways to maximize the efficiency of using your power meter are to start training in intervals. Intervals are specific times dedicated to a specific power. For example, a 30 second interval, a one minute interval, or a 20 minute interval. To get there, I always try to get my riders to set up their Garmin's or their GPS units or their head units um, with an interval screen. Every computer should be able to set up with a specific screen that will track the laps or intervals for our terminology. Um, specifically, I'm always looking for the lap power, the average power for that lap, um, the lap time, so know how long I've gone, uh, maybe kilojoules, distance, speed. The most important for me are lap power, lap time, and lap heart rate. That way I know how effective I am towards my goals. Some of the goals you might look at are measuring timestamps that happen to correlate to physiological systems. Five seconds, one minute, five minutes, 20 minutes, and my favorite, the 60 minute interval, which almost no one does because it's 60 minutes of suffering. Um, I always recommend my riders wear their heart rate monitors because it's a great cross-reference. As you get stronger and fitter, at the same relative heart rate, your power should go up. Last but not least, not every ride is a PR. So take your time, enjoy it, but make use of that heart rate monitor and power meter.